As we've seen recently, it's been a chaotic commute for Long Island Railroad riders because of the new schedules, and it's even a bigger challenge for people who are in wheelchairs, especially during rush hour. Yeah, some of those commuters telling CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan that riding the rails is increasingly stressful. Nadia Holubnichi of Floral Park is always on the move, but says lately she's been struggling under the new LIRR service. For the disabled, it's not a favor. Um, it's a right. She says her recent rush hour journeys turned harrowing when an elevator broke down at Jamaica Station and she discovered more frequent transfers are needed due to the opening of Grand Central Madison. There are also safety issues going on. That Those platforms at Jamaica get extremely crowded. Brianna Copeland of Franklin Square says her wheelchair was unable to cut through a stop train to board one on another platform. Trains no longer wait for connections. Between the anger and like the frustration, it's it's a lot. The gap still requires a ramp, whether at Jamaica or Grand Central, she says. The conductor saw me, and I guess he wasn't quick enough. And as he's getting the ramp, the door shut, and then the train just kind of like goes off. The LIRR care program allows customers to arrange for assistance getting on or off a train, but care needs a two hour prior notification. Disabled riders we spoke with say they can't be spontaneous travelers and ask why it's their responsibility to make accommodations. We're talking about public transportation. Transportation, you know, and we're productive members of society. I'm a person with a disability myself, so I understand what can happen to a rider when there's a lot of movement happening around them. MTA Chief Accessibility Officer Quamel Arroyo. The reality is, no one should be rushing to make these transfers. You have such added services. There's another train behind that one, two, three minutes away. And for people with disabilities, we've never seen such a demand for our elevators and our escalators. The disabled say it's imperative the new MTA app is up to date on out of service elevators and cancellations. It's like trying to figure out the quickest way because you don't want to miss the train. I have a right to the same and equal service as every single taxpayer. There needs to be a better conversation with the MTA. MTA leaders say they are listening on Long Island. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. In fact, the head of the MTA says that he would welcome hearing from disabled riders on how to make the system more accessible. We hope they are listening.